poultry farming is a business like any other business our major aim is to make sure that we maximize on the profits that we make is how do we maximize the profits uh, by making sure that your costs your expenses in whichever business that you're doing the expenses are as low as possible so in our poultry farms we know that antibiotics take a lot of money we always spend a lot of money when the birds get sick and we are buying these antibiotics to cure the diseases to treat all the diseases so in today's video allow me to discuss ways on how you can reduce on the use of antibiotics at your farm if you are new on this channel i'm called lirian and this is kevara farm please if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel because here we talk more about poultry farming so um on our farm we know that when we are when we become careless and the birds get sick we always spend a lot of money in order to buy the antibiotics to treat these birds and during this time when the chicken are sick our uh, always production is low and as we know in poultry farming our major business or our major source of income is on the eggs so when these birds don't give you eggs it means that you're you're not going to make money it means that here the profit maximization is going to be low you will be getting less profits or you will not be making any money at all so how do we reduce on the use of antibiotics avoiding the use of antibiotics at your farm it means avoiding diseases on your farm so how do we avoid the diseases number one if you want to reduce on the use of antibiotics at your farm make sure that you buy your chicken from a trusted breed or you buy the chicks which are coming from the parent stock which is not sick um we always talk about the breed the breed that gets the right breed you get your chicks from the trusted hatchery this is where the problem comes in from uh, if you buy your chicks from a parent stock which is sick a parent stock i mean the the chicken or uh, which lay the eggs and then the eggs are taken to the hatchery and then uh, from those eggs we get the chicks so if you get the chicks from the the parent stock which is sick it means that the genes are going to be transferred from that parent stock to the chicks that are going to come out from those eggs uh, so when those genes are transferred it means that those chicken are going to disturb you at the farm because they are always going to get sick they are always got, going to get that disease which they have acquired from their parents so make sure that if you want to avoid diseases from your farm you get the chicks which are from a parent stock which is healthy if you get the chicks from the parent stock which is healthy it means that even your birds are going to be healthy they are not going to get sick all the time and they are going to be producing even the percentages of production is going to be high and also when we talk about the right breed here we are talking about the the breed of the chicks when we talk about the the right breed we have the breed which is always resistant to diseases which is always strong uh isa brown is always the right breed and then even roman a uh, brown breed those are always good chicks which are resistant to diseases when you're making research of uh, where to get your birds from always make sure that you find out those hatcheries which are trusted who mind a lot about their quality that's why i import my birds from countries like turkey like Belgium. it's because i'm very sure that those countries mind a lot about the quality of the birds that they always give to us because uh, normally when they face a problem of diseases in their countries they have always uh, informed us that they have um, they have an outbreak in their countries so they are not able to uh, give us the chicks and we always wait 
so they i'm 100 percent sure that the chicks which i'm going to get from their farms from their hatcheries are going to be healthy chicks and they are always going to be resistant to diseases and then another point on how you can reduce buying uh, a lot of antibiotics at your farm uh, i have always been talking about it here the use of organic materials these organic materials these natural remedies please don't overlook them i uh, just try using them because they help a lot in boosting the immunity of the of these birds and when they have uh and when their immunities are high, it means that they are always going to be resistant to some of the diseases like cough. We've talked a lot about the use of charcoal, the use of popo, the, the use of aloe vera, the use of many things I've been talking about them here on this channel. So please also, if you haven't uh, watched most of these videos, you can go through the videos and watch them, how to use these natural remedies. They help a lot. But what you have to know, these natural remedies are preventative measures. Uh, and most of them, they help you to prevent the diseases. And as we know, prevention is better than cure. When you get an outbreak at, at your farm, don't hesitate to go and consult your veterinary doctor in the name of using na these natural remedies normally these natural remedies they help to prevent the diseases but when it comes to the diseases it's better that you also consult uh, the vet doctor and then they prescribe for you the medicine which is going to help you to cure these diseases very fast so use these natural remedies if you use them you're going to prevent a lot of diseases at your farm and you're going to find yourself spending a lot of time taking a, a long period of time without buying these antibiotics because you will not be facing any diseases at your farm and then another way on how we can reduce on the use of uh, on the use of antibiotics at our farm is by making sure that the level of biosecurity at our farms is top notch make sure that you put measures at your farm to make sure that diseases are not entering uh, to your farm and when we talk about these measures it also includes uh, fencing your farm what we have to know that also people who come to our farm they always carry diseases to our farm so make sure that you do not allow visitors to come and to come to your farm because they will bring diseases to your farm what you have to know people like seeing these chicken of ours they are so beautiful so people will always want to come and then see how these birds are looking like they do not want to buy they don't want some of them don't even want to start chicken but they only want to come to your farm to just have a look at how these birds are looking please don't allow those people for example, me, I receive a thousand calls from people who always want to come to my farm and see how these birds are doing. But I always say no, I do not allow people at my farm because I know the cost of me allowing these people. They will bring diseases and then at the end of the day, it will be me suffering, uh, buying these antibiotics and spending a lot of money trying to treat these diseases. And sometimes when the birds get sick, it is always hard to go back and start laying the percentages which they've been laying before they got sick. So why would I allow people to come to my farm? And then also another thing, put measures in that before anyone enters the chicken houses, they have disinfected themselves so properly. Put somewhere whereby someone before they enter the chicken house, they will first step in the disinfectant and then they enter in that you're sure that someone before is entering the chicken house is free from all those germs all those parasites which are going to bring diseases to your frog um i know when it has not happened to you when a disease has not been brought to your farm you will not understand this but when you get an outbreak at your farm 
from these people who come to your farm and sometimes you treat this disease and it doesn't get cured it is when you will understand what we are talking about here so please mind a lot about the biosecurity you will avoid all these diseases and when you avoid the diseases it means that you're not going to be spending on this on these antibiotics another way on how we can reduce on the use of antibiotics at our farms it begins in the beginning when you're constructing the chicken house if you're planning to bring let's say a thousand birds at your farm make sure that you the chicken house is well ventilated it has a lot of space provide a lot of of space for this bird because what i've realized are when these birds are congested when they do not have enough space they are going to get sick so please make sure that when you're constructing provide for them uh, enough space always it is always um eight birds per square meter from six to eight birds per square meter but you find that some people they do not know how to calculate these things the space and they put like for like 12 birds in a square meter and that is wrong your birds will get sick and you will find yourself uh, spending a lot of money and then also there are those people when they are constructing their chicken houses they are constructing as if they are constructing a house for people to sleep in no that is wrong always make sure that your chicken house is well ventilated it is as open as possible such that when the fresh air is saturating it is moving out all those germs all the ammonia and your birds are not going to get sick you're not going to find problems and you will enjoy poultry farming when you're making a lot of money from it what i have realized there is a lot of money in poultry farming if you do the right things if you stop spending unnecessarily and if you avoid a few of the mistakes there is a lot of money and people are getting so rich from this business those who are doing the right thing but then on another hand people who are making small small mistakes are getting out of business and then they come and discourage us that there is no money in this business it is because of not paying attention to these small small details these small small things and they take them for granted and they end up making a lot of uh, losses another way on how you can reduce on buying antibiotics at your farm is by practicing water acidification from my experience i've come to realize that this water that we give to our birds also contributes to the diseases that uh, attack these chicken of ours uh, water is an essential element in nutrition but it can also be a large source of infection and diseases we know that we should always give water to our birds which is chlorine free most especially if we are vaccinating our birds please never make a mistake of giving uh, your birds uh, any vaccine or any medicine using this water which has chlorine with it it is because that chlorine it is going to reduce on the effectiveness of that medicine which you're administering to your birds so taking care of water supply is vital for having a, a healthy frog and well performing frog frog i've come to realize at my farm that whenever uh that whenever that we give water from a well because some because sometimes this national water can be off and then we have to go to the well and get water i've come to realize that every time each and every day that we give that water from the well to our birds that day we don't get the eggs which we always get every day it means that because of that water the birds have not been able to lay properly so if you continue doing that you're going to be making mistakes and each and every day if you lose for example five trays that is money which is going and that money which is going is going to affect your your profits at the end of the month so water should be acidified to ph 3.5 to 4 in order to achieve low bacterial load in the in the gut make sure that you mind a lot about the water which you're giving to your birds in order to avoid the outbreak which is going to result 
from that water uh, which is containing the bacteria and everything then another way on how you can reduce on the use of uh, a lot of antibiotics at your farm please make sure that you vaccinate your birds in time i've been interacting to some farmers and some farmers have been telling me that for us we do not vaccinate our birds that we give them the the organic things the purple uh, the the purple leaves the aloe vera yes giving your bird these purple leaves and aloe vera is good but it does not stop you from vaccinating your birds and then there are some farmers who say that they vaccinate their birds after like three months no you even two months i don't support that you're supposed to vaccinate your birds each and every month that way you're sure that you're not going to be facing some of these diseases which take which attack our birds like newcastle so please vaccinate your birds in time and deworm your birds in time every month that way you're not going to face challenges of diseases at your farm and you will not spend your money buying these antibiotics at your farm and then another way of on how you can reduce buying antibiotics is by making sure that your farm is clean if you are in a home whereby you have children and then your the environment your home is dirty your children are going to get sick you will find that all the time your children are having infections you're always in hospitals trying to treat these diseases so the same way here at the farm if your farm is dirty here i mean the interior and also the exterior if your interior of the chicken house is dirty if the coffee hassocks have stayed for long and then they have dust if the if you if you always power water in the chicken house you trust me your birds are going to get sick you're going to get diseases at your farm also if the surrounding of the chicken house is dirty people who are working in the chicken house are go going to move those dizzy, those germs inside the chicken house and still your birds are going to get sick and i'm sure if your farm is dirty you're not practicing biosecurity properly because you're not taking care so make sure that there is cleanliness at your farm both inside the chicken house and outside the chicken house that way you're not going to find diseases at your farm and you will not spend any money trying to buy the antibiotics i hope this information is going to help us especially the farmers who are beginning poultry farming please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please like this video and ask me about anything in the comment section i'm willing to answer all your questions and thank you all for your support bye bye let me see my next video